my chat GPT last week kept going in a loop and going back to part 22 of something when it was in 28, like as amnesia, check how long the chat is. So sometimes when you have a long, long, long chat, what has happened at the beginning of the chat will be forgotten. So there's something in large language models called a context window is basically the easiest way to think of it is memory. It's how much information can the, the large language model work with at any one time. So that includes what you're giving it, your input. It includes any system prompts that it has, any history that it has, plus it includes the chat that is ongoing. So as that chat gets longer and longer, let's say you've got this context window and it starts to fill up. What happens is it will start to forget stuff from the beginning of that chat. Now, some AIs will say, Hey, I've run out of space. You need to start a new chat. Some will not. They'll just continue, which is very unhelpful because they do not say, Hey, I've run out. I've forgotten what's happened at the beginning. They will just instead try to fill in the gap and they will start to hallucinate in what they think should make sense. So if you find it's forgetting or you find it's, it's going over details that you've already covered, it may be because the context window has been filled up and it's forgotten what's happened earlier. So the easiest fix is to start a new chat. Sometimes that's annoying if you are doing a continuous project. So a couple of things you can do, you can one, ask for a summary of everything that we've covered so far, and then take that summary to the new chat. That kind of works, or you can do it all within a project. So both Claude and ChatGPT have projects. Now you do it within a project and you save information from inside the chat into the project knowledge. So again, you'd say, Hey, can you summarize everything we've been covering? And it would create an artifact and you save that. It's basically a document that's saved into the project knowledge, and then it is accessible by all of the future chats. So that's the way to do it. You can also use a larger context window model. Generally the Gemini models on Google have the highest context windows uh, in the millions, whereas ChatGPT tends to be a couple of hundred thousand. So if you have a project where you need to put a huge amount of information in, then Gemini tends to be a good contender here. Oh. Yeah, it's like me at the end of the day when I forget what's happened in the morning. Yes, ChatGPT is very similar. It forgets less than us, I'm sure. It forgets less than me, definitely.